Oh my god, this year. I think for me, this year, I just, I just came out of a yoga class. This year, I... Best day of my life. The vision for the Dialer Story phone booth has been one of, I guess, surprising and delighting audiences with a real world object. Something that's both intimate um, and delightful in terms of picking up that handset and really experience the story firsthand. We thought it would be an incredible way to um, engage authors to share their stories in a very intimate and a personal way. Uh, each of these authors shares with you a really intimate um, little part of their life, a story you wouldn't have heard before or read before or heard in any other interview. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges, of course, is building a real-world object, so designing it in a way that could be standalone and self-functioning, but also could connect to the website. Usually when, you, when we're developing something, it's for rendering on a screen this time. The input is actually over a phone. At the core of this, this project are two devices. One of them is an Arduino and the other one is a Raspberry Pi. They're both uh, reasonably well-known gadgets in the, in the tech world. You pick up the receiver and suddenly you're confronted with John Safran barking at you down the line. Hello, this is John Safran. Welcome to Dial a Story. Now this is obviously not a normal phone booth. I have an interesting selection of authors. We're on the line and ready to speak to you. In a moment you'll hear who I have on the line. Dial the number to hear their story. Dial one for me, Jamie Dewey. Dial four for me, Maggie Beer. After you've listened to the message from the author, you're then invited to share your own story. We wanted to engage people in a way that would evoke a sense of, I guess, creating a, a live archive where they could leave their own stories. And share, like, you know, something that means something to them. And the, the material part was curved, a bit like a sail. So I said to the kids, hey look kids, a snailing ship. After you've been at the phone booth, you leave with this little, this little tiny bookmark and on it is a little code and a link to a website. Log in and hear your own story back that you recorded um, and then share it with your friends and family.